For those of you guys that didn't grow up with this, I wish this could look more appealing, but I promise you, it's delicious. All right, what's up guys? Today we are making Chinese steamed fish to celebrate Chinese New Year, AKA Lunar New Year. I'm wearing red to celebrate the auspiciousness of it all. Chinese people believe in good luck and fortune and all that good stuff. We're gonna play along today. I got a red tilapia fresh from the grocery store. So on top of being a staple for most Chinese families, eating steamed fish is also very important for Chinese New Year for people to bring in some sort of luck, I think. And phonetically, I believe fish sounds like some other word that means good luck or something. I just know that I like to eat this and I'm gonna make it and I'm gonna eat it tonight. When making Chinese steamed fish, it's very important to pick live fish. Actually, anytime you eat fish, if you have an option to get them live, get them live because it's gonna taste so much better. The meat's actually sweet. It won't have that odory flavor. An easy way to figure out if it's fresh is checking the eyeballs. If it's not fresh, it'll have a milky, foggy kind of look. This is dark as the night right here, so very, very, very fresh. So a main ingredient, obviously, this guy right here, red tilapia. Now, in Western cooking, we do a lot of lemon juice to cook our fishes with so that it eliminates that fishy flavor, right? In Chinese cooking, we use ginger and it also has that strong acidic flavor along with that is green onions some soy sauce a little bit of oil done super simple one of the easiest recipes that I know all right so let's get started you gotta have your fish cleaned honestly the guy at the grocery store did most of the work it's already descaled gutted and cleaned for me so we'll just go ahead and put this on over to the side and we'll bring in our chopping board now is to prep our aromatics one, two, three, four. Let's do about eight coins, eight little medallions of ginger. Cut them into little strips. The finer you can cut your ginger, the more aromatic it'll be. Because it's gonna be able to release more of its juices and more of its aromas into the fish. I like ginger. I don't think that's enough. We're gonna go for more. That's 12 total. Green onions, I got three stalks right here. Get rid of the roots and cut this in half. And then I'm gonna section them off in the thirds. All right, we're gonna bring our fish right back in. All right, so what we're gonna do now is take our ginger that we just prepped and I'm going to stuff a nice little pinch of it right into the belly of it. So I'm gonna head over here. And then we're gonna take a nice pinch of green onions. We're gonna stuff this into the belly of it as well. That way our fish is nice and aromatic. There we go. And then from here, I'm gonna sprinkle the rest of the remaining ginger. And that's all the prep work you need. All right, so this is optional, but you can drizzle a little bit of sesame oil for an extra dash of aroma and a dash of rice wine. Now all this helps to cut that fish smell. Now we're gonna set aside the fish and bring in the steamer. Now this is very useful obviously when you're trying to steam stuff. We're gonna start from the bottom. The bottom level, this is where you put your water in. Very simple. The next level, it's got holes in it. This is where the steam comes through to cook your food. This is where we're gonna be putting our fish. And lastly, the lid. Now this steamer is not just for cooking fish, you can also use this for dumplings, steaming eggs, egg custards, vegetables, crap, you could do anything with this. All right, but what if you don't have a steamer? I didn't always have a steamer. Before, I would always use a wok. Bam. And I would have this rack. You can find this at any Asian grocery store. But what I would do is take my wok, put water at the bottom of the wok, put this on top, put your plate of fish or dumplings or whatever you're trying to steam on top of it, put the lid to the wok on top, and there you go, makeshift steamer. In fact, this is how my mom used to steam her fish all the time. All right, so now what you wanna do is fill up your steamer, the bottom level, with about an inch of water. All right, so now once the water is boiling, take our fish and we place it inside. close the lid and we're gonna let that steam for about 10 minutes. All right, so now in the meantime, we're gonna take our remaining green onions that we didn't use and we're gonna just julienne and cut it into really, really thin strips. This is gonna double as our garnish and as more aromatics as we plate our fish. 
Now while the fish is steaming and we have our onions prepped, we're gonna make our specialty fish sauce. Now you can definitely use plain old soy sauce if you like. I like to jazz it up to make it taste a little bit better. Do three tablespoons of soy sauce, one tablespoon of sugar, and ironically enough, half a tablespoon of fish sauce. Go ahead and give this a stir. And now we're just gonna toast this sauce so we can get all those flavors meshed together and it's gonna complement that fish really, really well. Next, what you're gonna wanna do is pour out all the excess fish liquid because we're gonna replace that with some jazzed up soy sauce. Also, we're gonna remove the green onion from the inside of the belly of the fish and we're gonna replace it with the fresh green onions that we've just julienned. Next, we're gonna heat up some oil in a pan, about two tablespoons. Once the oil is hot, we're gonna pour it all over the fish. We're gonna flash cook all the fresh green onions. Lastly, we're gonna drizzle the jazzed up soy sauce that we made over the fish, and voila, we have traditional, very, very traditional Chinese steamed fish.